That's right, OK, good stuff, everybody. It's time now to meet this week's national treasure. Now, uh, I'm hoping that he'll still have the energy to speak to us after playing tennis for more than 11 hours today in aid of charity. And it's Nick Rogers from Bristol. He's hoping to raise £25,000 for Grief Encounter which helps individuals obviously suffering from bereavement. A fantastically worthy cause, I'm sure we can all agree. I'm trying to say that Nick joins me now. Nick, are you there? Let's have a look for Nick. Yes, there he is now. OK, National Treasure gets a round of applause on the way in and the way out of time. Yes, well done. Woo! You are this week's <laughs> National Treasure. Nick, talk to me about what you do. Oh, and your son's there. Is that your son? Sweet. Yeah, this is Jensen, my little boy. Oh, <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> so what have you done? You've played tennis for 11 hours. Uh, 11 hours and 38 minutes, actually. Oh. Um, yeah, and I'm feeling a little tiny bit tired. I'm not going to lie. We started at 6.30 this morning. Um, and the, the, the cause or, or the, the fundraise which we've done today is something which is quite close to my heart. Um, the charity looks after um, basically children who have lost a parent. And I lost my mum when I was 13. And trust me, when in 1983, you know, other than a cassette player, you didn't really have a lot to, to sort of, um, uh, there wasn't much support. So when I met Chelsea and the charity, it was just an amazing thing they do for kids. Um, so I've been sort of planning this for two years with COVID. So basically 41,000 children in the UK lose a parent every year. Um, and I thought, well, let's take 41,000 and naturally turn it into a second. And then we'll play a pretty aggressive game of tennis for 11 hours and 38 minutes, which is yeah. what we've done. So, uh, And just to, just to, just as, as far as I heard there, sorry, correct me if I'm wrong, I, I believe you said that you sadly lost your mum when you were, I think, 13 years old, you said. <sighs> What was available to you at the time? Because Grief Encounter obviously looks to help people during that, that, that bereavement period. And do you think we've come a long way? Is this, is this really why it's so important to you? Because you didn't really feel like you had stuff available for you at the time. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, you know, <laughs> it's only now that since I've started talking about this um, that I've, you know, I started to open up a couple of of little doors in my mind which um i've never thought about before and never even talked about before i shut that whole part of my life off um and for me you know i remember coming home from school and you know being told that unfortunately my mum had died and then we within a couple of days we were back at school you know there was no support um so it, it was quite a tough time but uh, you know i shut that off and that that's sort of how I dealt with it. And I've, you know, I was lucky I found tennis, you know, and that was what I started to do. And I moved in with, um, unfortunately, my dad wasn't around. So we moved in with our grandparents. And, you know, within a couple of weeks, I sort of started playing tennis. And I sort of, my whole yeah. teen life was being able to just put something, you know, I use that as a, as a catalyst, really, to, to help me. Uh, absolutely. And can I just say, was it was it was it Jackson? Did you say your son was called? Uh, Jensen. Jensen. Sorry, I misheard you at the start there. Jensen, it's very nice to meet you. How are you? Good. Good. Now, what do you think of your daddy? Okay, because he's been doing a lot of great stuff and he's helping people out. Are you very proud of your dad? He's nodding. He's nodding. You can't see. You can't hear him. Now. <laughs> Listen, would you? Would you, do you? Would you like to play tennis with your dad as well? Is that what you want to do? Good. I'll tell what you what. What do you really I'll... like to do? Playing football. Oh, you're more of a footballer. There you go. Well, there's more money in it. So there you go. You've raised a smart one there. I'm telling you. Well done. Well done. <laughs> well, look. Just, just very quickly, very quickly, very quickly. How can people donate or do or just help out very quickly, mate? Yeah. So if you go on to Just Giving, we got a a, a a page which is Nick and Paul's Tennis Marathon. <laughs> so if anybody would like to drop a donation, that would be amazing. Uh, Good luck. You are this week's national treasure. Halfway to our target. So. Oh, good stuff. You, you are this week's national treasure. Well done, mate. You're an inspiration. Hey, there we go. Fantastic oh, stuff. Cheers, and good luck with the football career, Jensen, as well. I'm sure you'll make it. I'm sure you'll make it. Right now is that moment you've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. Yes.